Assalamu alaikum. Hello, kids. How are you today? I hope you're enjoying our videos. Insha'Allah, today I am going to tell you the story of Prophet Hud alayhi salam. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Hud alayhi salam. Do you remember what happened in the last episode? Yes, the entire earth was flooded with water and all the idol worshippers were now dead. Prophet Nuh alayhi salam survived along with his family and followers. The descendants of the Prophet gave birth to many more and they started populating the earth. There were a lot of people living on earth by now. Even the population of animals and other creatures increased manifold. They spread across to different parts of the earth, and many of them settled down in ancient Yemen. Those who settled here were called the Ad people. The people of Ad lived for many years in the windswept hills of an area between Yemen and Oman. They were physically well built and renowned for their craftsmanship. They were famous for constructing tall buildings with lofty towers. The people of Ad grew rich and arrogant. They started erecting huge towers on top of hills. They were very proud of their achievements. Their political power was held in the hand of unjust rulers against whom no one dared to raise a voice. As time went by, Shaitan played his tricks on the Ad people, and they were misled from their true god. They started making idols from stone and started worshipping these idols. They ignored Allah's warnings and fell into bad ways. Allah wanted to guide and discipline these people, so he sent a prophet from among them. This prophet was Hud peace be upon him. A noble man who handled this task with great patience. Prophet Hud warned people about idol worship. My people, what is the use in worshipping these stones which you have made with your own hands? He created you, he provides for you, and he is the one who will cause you to die. He blessed you in many ways. Trust him, do not ignore him. Don't you remember what happened to the disbelievers during Nuh's time? But the people of Ad refused to accept his message. Are you trying to be our leader? Are you expecting to receive payment in return? Go away, we don't want to listen to your words. I will receive my payment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't expect to receive anything in return. I was chosen to convey God's message, he told them calmly. The people didn't listen, and they said, You are nothing but a liar. Why should we listen to the words of a liar? I am not a liar, the prophet told them. Hud then tried to reason with them, telling them about Allah's blessings, how he destroyed the disbelievers. But the people still refused to listen. They laughed at his words. They were proud of their achievements. They knew they were the strongest on earth, and they still argued with him. The chief of the Ayat people asked him, Isn't it strange that Allah chose one of us to reveal his message, instead of sending someone from heaven? What is strange in that? Allah wants to guide you to the right way of life, so he sent me to warn you. Did you forget about what happened to Nuh's people? Did you forget the flood? All the disbelievers were destroyed, even though they were very strong. Who is going to destroy us? The chief asked. Allah will destroy you if you don't change your ways, Hud salam replied. Then the disbelievers among them said, We'll be saved by our gods. Hud salam told them, that their gods would be the reason for their destruction. The conflict between Hud and the Ad people went on for many years. 
As years passed, the Hag people became more and more defiant. They started accusing Hud of being a fool. I am not a fool and I am not lying, he told them. If you are not a liar, then prove what you are saying is true. Tell Allah to send the punishment, they said arrogantly. Hud was sad and disappointed when he heard this. I am not a liar. I am the prophet of Allah, he told them earnestly. But no one believed in him and walked away. The prophet then tried preaching to different tribes. Do you think the houses you have built are going to last forever? He asked them. Remember that it is Allah who gave you your fortunes. If you don't obey Allah, he will choose some other people to take your place. Allah knows and hears everything. But the elders of the tribe too rejected him, calling him a fool and a liar. The prophet tried again to convince them. Oh, my people, I am not a fool, he told them. I am a messenger from the Lord of the worlds. I am letting you know his will and give you my honest advice. They didn't listen to the prophet and they too turned their backs on him. They continued to worship idols. There were only a very few people in Ad who listened to the words of the prophet. They trusted their leader and knew that he was speaking the truth. Hud and his people waited for Allah's promise. So a drought spread throughout the land. It didn't rain for many months at a stretch. The heat was too much for the people to handle. The Ad people realized that there was something wrong. They came to the Prophet asking, Why is it not raining? Why is this drought, Hud? Allah is angry with you. If you believe in him, he will accept you and he will send the rains. You will become even more stronger, he told them. You are crazy, they laughed at the Prophet. We know it will rain soon and we don't need the help of your God. The drought increased. There was no water anywhere. The plants and the cattle started dying. This continued for many more months. But still, the people of Had refused to stop worshipping their idols. The drought went on for three long years. One day, when the Prophet was offering his prayers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a revelation to the Prophet. God asked him to gather his followers and told him to leave Ad. The next day, the Prophet took his followers and left the city. When Hud and the followers left the city, a huge black cloud appeared in the sky over Ad. The disbelievers didn't realize that it was Allah who had sent that cloud as a warning to them. They thought that this large cloud was going to give them the rains instead. They ran to their idols to thank them for the rains. The weather changed suddenly from burning dry and hot to stinging cold with wind that shook everything, trees, plants, tents, and everything else. The wind continued for many days, gaining in strength by the day. It was only now that the Ad people realized that this is Allah's punishment. They started running to seek shelter. They ran to their houses to hide, thinking their strong buildings would protect them. But the winds got stronger and ripped their houses apart. They tried to hide in their basements of the huge buildings they made. But that too wasn't of any use. The strong winds caused the buildings to collapse, killing everyone in the basements as well. The heavy storm raged for eight days and seven nights.
the violent wind did not stop until the entire region was reduced to ruins. Every disbeliever in Ad was now destroyed. Only Prophet Hud salam, and his people were safe because they heeded the warnings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They migrated to Hadramaut and lived there in peace, worshipping Allah, their true God. After the destruction of Ad, the tribe of Thamud succeeded them. Did you like the story, kids? If you liked the video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and stay updated on all our videos. Please tell your friends about our channel as well. Don't miss our next episode. It's the story of a prophet and a huge camel. The story of Prophet Saleh alayhi salam. That's all for today. Goodbye.